the first iX M. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, this is the first time the BMW M have ever put together a purpose-built, from the ground up, battery electrified sports activity vehicle. It's right here, it's the 2023 iX M60. It has everything that we love that we've learned about the iX up to this point, but it has the blessing of M. That means a few things. For example, up to 610 brake horsepower, up to 811 pound-feet of torque instantaneously, right off the line. This all means zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds, onto a top speed of 155 miles an hour, wow. and it returns an estimated range of 280 miles on a single charge. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's look at it uh, from the front, and maybe we can get a little look at the front. So uh, the same as the other iX that's out there, the regular iX, the grill actually is self-healing, right? It is, it is. It maintains the iconic BMW twin kidney shape. However, it's got a lot going on behind it. Uh, as you mentioned, it is coated in a urethane coating. If you get any stone chips or nicks or scratches in there, just apply a little heat, park the car in the sun for a while, they will actually self-heal. And then behind all of that is all the electronic sensors for the advanced driver assistance systems, and it is heated. So if we're in an environment like here in Chicagoland, if we get ice, if we get snow, if we get slush on the front of it, it will actually defrost itself to make sure that you have use of all those systems. One of the big things is, of course, this is an SUV. If we come around the side a little bit, you look at the door handles on the side here, uh, they are flush or fairly flush to the body. Um, and uh, it's sort of a, a very different design. M is nicely sort of hidden on the side uh, monochromatically. It is quite subtle, it is quite subtle. Uh, the vehicle itself, uh, obviously it has a very extroverted and a, you know, a very powerful look. Uh, it's a large vehicle, obviously it's a five passenger SAV. This five passenger SAV is actually more aerodynamic than the i8 sports car that we made just a few wow. years ago. Yeah, that's incredible. And then just if we can get a peer in through the window there that happens to be open, the interior, super, super modern. There's a lot of recycling that went on on the materials on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, I think the carpets are made of bamboo. <laughs> they, you know, you guys did a lot of work to try and make it environmentally friendly. Mm -hmm. And I think also you managed to make the engine without using cobalt um, and, and without using magnets mm -hmm. to try and sort of preserve the environment. Yeah, it's not enough for us simply to build a, a, what they would call a zero emissions vehicle so that there's nothing coming out of any tailpipe anywhere in normal use. We looked at the entire value chain going into the production of the car. Everything from the uh, uh, procurement of the raw materials that go into the vehicle all the way through to the, its recyclability at the end of its life. So as you mentioned, uh, the batteries in the vehicle contain lithium and cobalt. They have to, that's the technology that we have right now. But we as a company oversee the extraction of those minerals to ensure that they're done with respect for the environment and the respect for the human lives of the labor force extracting them. And we make those materials available to other manufacturers who want to use them. Uh, the motors of this vehicle, there are two. There's one in the front and there's one in the back. They do not have permanent magnets in them. That means that we do not have to extract rare earth metals wow. in order to manufacture the engines. And our, our motors are, are built in-house uh, in, in, uh, in Germany. Move to the interior, and as you mentioned, the carpets, the floor mats, even the headliner material, uh, were all made from recycled fishing nets, actually. <laughs> uh, the leather on the seats and uh, elsewhere in the vehicle, rather than using the very caustic tanning chemicals to tan leather to make it nice and soft and supple, we actually use a process that relies only upon uh, the extract from olive leaves. So we really do try to think of the entire vehicle's impact on the environment and its con not only its use, but its construction. Uh, very environmentally sound, big screens on the inside. One of the things I loved when I saw this vehicle in its non-M form in, in Germany, which was quite fun, is it also has the ability to take a selfie of you when you smile, right? It does, it does. If you just say, hey BMW, take a selfie, there's a high definition camera mounted up just above the uh, rear view mirror, and it will warn you that, hey, we're about to take a picture, so everybody get ready, and it will snap a picture, which is a fun thing to do. You can share it with your friends, other iX owners, and that sort of thing. Also a security feature. 
Uh, if the vehicle were to be stolen, for example, it can activate the camera remotely and you can see what's going on in the inside of the vehicle. You can also say, gee, did I leave my backpack? Did I leave my suitcase or something like that in the interior of the car? You can activate the camera remotely from your phone and check around the interior to see if there's anything that you left behind. Um, two important questions. First of all, is the M60 uh, a ultimate driving machine? Absolutely. We have a responsibility beyond just building an electric vehicle. We have to build an electric BMW, and that means something to us and to the people who are fans of the brand. So without a question, this is an ultimate driving machine. As good as you may think that it drives, it drives better than that. <laughs> All right.